This is new time we're working, developing news on a Providence man charged with attempted kidnapping. This is a story we've been following for you every step of the way since it first broke last week. Jose Torres is accused of trying to pull a 12 year old girl into his car, and today he was in court to face those charges. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace has the latest now live outside of the courtroom with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. And Danielle, 43 year old Jose Torres is being held on a $50,000 surety bail, which means he has to come up with 10% or $5,000. And should he make bail, he has been ordered to stay away from that little girl. Driving a vehicle. In Providence District Court, 43 year old Jose Torres hears the very serious charge he is facing. Torres was subsequently charged with one count of attempted kidnapping. Torres is accused of trying to grab a 12 year old girl last Thursday while she was walking on Burnett Street on her way to Gilbert Middle School. The girl's mother, who was in court and does not want her face shown on camera, explains what happened. She said he grabbed her by her left thumb and she, he was trying to pull her into the car, told her to get in the car. She told him she wasn't getting in the car and he opened up the back door. She says her daughter told her she was able to get away by hitting the man with her juice bottle. She also got the license plate. Prosecutors say police tracked down the address only to learn that the owner of the car did not have the vehicle at that time, according to police. Torres did. The girl was able to pick Torres picture from six possible suspects that were shown to her. However, his family says he's not involved. Her mother is thankful. She's always told her children what to do should something like this ever happen. And she hopes other parents do the same. Just watch your kids and protect them at all times and just teach them like I taught my daughter. The girl's mother did go back, rather the girl says her daughter did go back to school today, but she is still shaken up and no longer wants to go places by herself. As for Torres, he's due back in court one week from today for a bond review hearing. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.